Hello everyone and welcome to the NewTek TriCaster TC1 Get Started Training. In this video, we'll be covering the four mix effect buses. Now there are several ways to use these. First, we'll take a look at how to use these as a mix. So in our interface, we can find our mix effects right above our program row. I have four of these to choose from. We're going to focus on mix effect one. So I have mix effect number one on my preview window so we can see some of these changes that we make. So what I can do is I can cycle through different inputs just like I could on my program row. I can also use transitions to transition between different shots between these. And all of the transitions that are available on our program and preview row are also available within our mix effects. Now to the right of that, we have four independent upstream keyers, which we can then overlay on top of our mix effect that are completely independent from what's going out on our program row. Another use for a mix effect is to use them as an effect or a multi-layered effect. Now in ME2, we can go ahead and assign different live sets to these by clicking on a plus button and viewing all the different live sets that we have. So what I'm going to do is do a quick two-layered effect. So I'll just have my A layer on top of my B layer here. So in order to get this to work, let's turn on the live mat on input number five. And we can do that here by just clicking the check mark next to live mat. But let's also make a few little adjustments here. So we can use our dropper, select the color, and now we have our A over B. Now we can also alter the positioning of our talent by clicking on the cross icon here on my A row. We'll navigate over to row A positioning and turn on our positioner. Let's expand that and you'll see all the different tools that we have. We can move her left and right, so we'll go ahead and put it in the left corner. I can also scale her up or down and also move the rotation of her as well. Another type of effect is using a live set to create a virtual environment. Let's set that up on ME3. I'll have ME3 in preview so that we can see what we're doing. So let's go to our effect selection window, click on plus, and grab a virtual set. I'm going to go ahead and select Metropolis A, right standing. Now this is a three layered set and we can have these stacked on top of each other and basically choose any input that's coming over our switcher. I'm going to go ahead and select my DDR2, which is Don on his green screen. So let's go through and turn on his live mat. There we go. And I can position him around screen using my positioner tool. Move him over just a tad. Now that screen that's behind him on the virtual set can be assigned to any video signal on our switcher. Now my layer C here, that's going to be this little ticker over on top of his set. So we need to go ahead and select the buffer for that by selecting bank 2 and we'll go with buffer 7. So now he has a cool ticker above him. Now here's a good time for me to introduce re-entry on your mix effects. So that screen behind him right now is one of my input signals but I can also select a virtual set inside of this. So we're going to go and select ME2 which I set up earlier as that screen behind Don. So now we have one mix effect feeding into another mix effect with no latency. So here's another virtual set and we can move around this virtual set using our positioning and zooming tools. So let's zoom into our set here and get Don on screen. There we go. Now I can save this shot using what we call our comps engine. So we'll open up our comps window and take a snapshot in number one using this camera. So we'll hit the camera and now let's set up another shot and position this around. So we'll go ahead and just back up all the way. Now using the comps window again, let's take a snapshot for number two. And now we can cycle between these movements simply by recalling that shot. Now you can set the speed of these you want those to go as either slow, medium, or fast, or type it in manually. Comps can do a lot more than just saving positioning. You can also use it to save snapshots of the entire mix effect. So for example, let's go ahead and bring on our upstream keyer and 
we can also move the positioning of Dawn just a little bit over here, go back to our comps window, and save that as snapshot number three. Now, if I go back to number two, you'll see that all of the positioning and the upstream keyers have been removed. Back to number three, and we're back to where we started. Now, you can also do cool and creative shots using your comps, for example, by manipulating our upstream keyers and positioning them to have a quad box like this. And then we can recall shots animated by simply clicking on those presets. So we can go from two to three to four to five and back to one. Now, if you want to have some fun with this, you can also add some animations and play with the rotation of these. So we can have them spin, we can have them flip, you name it. So use your imagination and have some fun with these. Now another useful feature of the mix effects is we can copy and paste settings easily using the previs function. So let's go ahead and take a look at ME3 and I want to do some big changes here without editing that mix effect. So what we'll do is we'll copy it over to our previs by clicking previs and now let's move over to our previs window and I'm going to set up my preview window to echo what I have on my previs bus. Cool. So now what I want to do is we'll take off my downstream gear and let's move Dawn over here on our screen. And then we'll zoom in just a tad. And we'll position the camera like this. All right, that's looking good. So now we're going to paste these settings back into our mix effect by going back to mix effect three and hitting the paste button. And now all of those changes are brought over into ME3. Now we can do the same thing with other inputs as well. So let's go over to mix effect number two, click on ME2 and we'll paste from our previs. And that brings over all of the settings and the only thing that it doesn't change is the inputs. So you can bring over your upstream keyers, your positioning and your comps all using previs. Think of previs as a place for you to make changes and play around with your mix effects without altering your live mix effect. So that covers the basics of TriCaster mix effects and how those work. In our next video, we'll take a look at audio inputs, outputs, and mixing.